Hello everyone and welcome to your weekend preview here on Panthers TV with me, Sam Hurst. And after a huge four-point weekend here at the Motor Point Arena. And of course, we look ahead to another busy weekend. On Saturday, we are off to Rivals Sheffield and then on Sunday, back at home against the Dundee Stars. Let's kickstart our preview by speaking to your assistant coach, Linton Grant. Linton Grant joins us on the Week in Preview here on Panthers TV. Linton, I wonder how much confidence you think the team took out of those. They really were two huge wins last weekend. Yeah, they were, they were big ones. Obviously, any time you can try and take points away from Belfast, it's, a, it's always a good time. And then, so honestly, I think it was just more so the way how we played in those games. I think we, we demanded a lot out of the guys competition-wise uh, and compete, and they, they responded pretty well in those games. And... Even though maybe we weren't the best systematically in X's and O's, I think the compete kind of made up for that area. We talked after, you know, the coaching staff talked after, let's say, the game against Sheffield, saying that maybe in the crucial moments it was lacking. And obviously, you know, you had that five on three power play, it didn't go the way. But obviously, the reverse of things, it felt like, especially against Belfast, the crucial moments the team came up trumped. How, how good was that to see? Yeah, I think like, obviously, the, the season's always about kind of like managing those lows and highs, right? And I think. Especially in that run, we, we were kind of struggling to find our confidence. And I think it's, it's always a tough one to try and buy your way back into those ones when it comes to confidence. Um, but now that we've started to maybe click a little bit more offensively, I think the guys just have that little bit of a swagger to them. Uh, the kind of weight's lifted off their shoulders, just that touch. And I think any time you can have that kind of relief, it's a, it, the game starts to come just that little bit easier for you, right? And then on Sunday, obviously, the fact that the game was won by the end of the, the second period. But how impressed were you that you, you took them to the sword and, and really bared down them, especially in those first two periods? Yeah, I think it was a, it's a characteristic that we haven't shown, I think, maybe too often that we'd like to have this season. So I think, I think there's been a couple of those games where we've been two goals up and we've kind of maybe just sat back that a little bit too much and, and we've let teams get back into those games, whereas Manchester was good for us just to keep our foot on the throttle and, and keep pushing forward. So I, I, it was good to see that we've got it in us, that we, we're not just going to rest on our laurels when maybe we've got a lead. And I, I, especially against like a team like Manchester, you just you really can't, right? Like they're, they're a physical team and they've got a lot of skilled guys on that team as well. So... You sit back too much and eventually they will make you pay. So. Saturday against Sheffield on the road, how much do you think you can put down a marker if you were to go there and win? I know they've got injury problems, but how much would it, would it be if you can put down a marker and go there and get something? Yeah, they, like in reality, all the games that we've played to against Sheffield so far, we've been super, super close and it's just been a, a mistake here or a mistake there that's it's wound up costing us. Um, so I think I, we've elevated against a lot of good, good teams this year. Um, and I think maybe it's been one of those situations like when we were in Sheffield, we got up 3-1. I think it was one of those situations where we just rested back too much and thought we'll just defend this one out and park the bus to, to kind of quote my dad on that one. But um, yeah, I think if we can keep playing like how we did last weekend, I think we, we should be in for... A, a good result in reality. Well, you make a good point there because about last weekend, is that just really with momentum as well? Once a team can get in that swing, how crucial is it that you know they can continue it, especially when you're going to have a lot of games around this festive period? Yeah, I, I, as you said, it's it's one of those in the fashions that you're doing it as well. As I said, you, you take a good Belfast team down, um, you're fighting kind of like a gritty kind of Manchester game. It, it starts to said, build that confidence, right? So having that momentum going into like a Sheffield weekend or a Sheffield and Dundee weekend, reality Dundee has shown that they can go with the best of them and, and take them down. So there, it, there's no kind of turn your nose up at those guys. Like you, it's not a night that you can just switch off after you've played Sheffield, right? So we just got to keep riding that momentum that we had from last weekend and, and in theory, good results should come with it. So double elite league action to look forward to this weekend and a reminder that Sunday is our teddy bear toss night. Very much looking forward to that. So why don't we chat to our very own Ollie Betteridge. Panthers TV with Ollie Betteridge looking ahead to the weekend. But first, let's start with the fact on Sunday it's a teddy bear toss game. You got the first goal and the, the goal that saw the teddies rain down last year. How fun was that? Yeah, that was pretty special. If I remember correctly, it was uh, Deeds made a really nice play and uh, look, I was in a nice spot to, to finish it off. So, yeah, that was, a, that was a pretty special moment, that's for sure. And let's look ahead to this weekend and, and just, I guess, go back to look and say how important do you think those, those two wins were for the momentum for this team? Yeah, that's huge. I mean, 
coming into this weekend, we knew exactly what we needed to do. We needed to play with a little bit more grit and uh, be on the same page together and uh, determine our way through the game. Um, and I think we did that. We showed a full 60-minute performance on both nights, um, which is huge for us going into this weekend. And also, they were, they were gritty games. How, how impressive was it that the boys really got stuck in, especially against Manchester? Can you look back and reflect on a performance like that and know that you've been through a battle but come on the right side? Yeah, for sure. That's what we needed. We needed that uh, this weekend, and that was kind of what was the message was to us: was we needed to play with that enthusiasm and energy and uh, and that grit, and bring that for 60 minutes is uh, exactly what we needed. And let's push that into this weekend coming up. And then going back to the Belfast game again, you know, I think we'd spoken to the coaching staff who'd, who'd said, "You're not getting blown away in games. You're nearly there, but not getting on the right side." But then against a team, one of the best teams in the league, to find that overtime winner and to be key in a clutch moment. Again, that's key for this side, isn't it? Yeah, it's just playing for 60 minutes. Uh, we know we're capable of it. We have an unbelievable group in there all together, and we know we have the talent to, to succeed. And um, We know we have that, and we just need to bring that for 60 minutes and be on the same page and do that in night in, night out. We can win. Every game's hard in this league. There's no easy games. You have to turn up on the night and, and put in your best, best performance. So hopefully we can do that this weekend. You're getting used to these delays by now. I mean, what, what did you do this time? Another hour and a half delay there. Uh, you know, how, how do you fill that time? Yeah, I mean, I can't remember the last time we had a delay. And we have seem to have, I think it's three this year. Yeah. Um, so, no, I mean, it's the same for both teams. Both teams have to go through it. You both... But it's just which team starts on time, and obviously you need to you need to start on time in those games. No matter what time it is, you need to prepare yourself. Although it's an hour, two hour, three hour delay, it doesn't really matter. We just know we need to, to put in our best performance and uh, carry us through that game. Sheffield away on, on Saturday. I know they've got injury problems, but they are one of the best teams in the league. Do you think you can set down a marker if you can take it to them, especially in their arena? Yeah, I think this year we've had some we've had some really close games to them. It's been one one goal games and. We know what we need to do, and it's, they are close games, and we know that we can beat that team. Um, so hopefully we can do that on Saturday. Appreciate you joining us, Ollie. Thank, Thank you. you. Sunday is coming round really quick, so please do get your tickets. We want to see as many of you guys there. Just head to our website, panthers.co.uk. And remember, it is teddy bear toss night, so please bring your new teddies wrapped in plastic and be prepared to throw them on either the first Panthers goal or the end of the first period. We will see you there.